Now we have made the placket, you'll find that somewhere else on the web page. Now we've got to put in the calf. This is a classic shirt sleeve with the placket. So I have here some notches because this is with a pleat. I fold the pleats so they are turned again, my placket, and pin it to make sure they are not opened off. And normally, or a lot of times, of course there are no such things as normally because things change all the time and it has to do with the way we would like the fashion and the design. But if I do this like a classic, there is often two pleats which is folded against the placket on the longest side that means at the front of the sleeve. Then we got one pleat at the back of the sleeve, also folded towards this placket. So we got it like this, it's folded to the placket. Now it's time to attach our calf. And I have prepared my calf. I cut it, I put on some interlining, and I fold it one centimeter and fold it again so one centimeter is sticking out that's actually the seam allowance now what I'm going to do first is finish my corners so I'm going to turn it around and sew one centimeter across this corner and let's do that at first I do this on both sides, so I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side before turning the right side out. And now I can turn the right side out of this. And I've got my calf ready to attach to my sleeve. Now to do it in a way that makes sense according to what I said before about top stitches, I place it inside my sleeve, make sure that I do not open up my pleats, so I place it here all the way and it's in oh it is in line with the slit and the placket so let's just pin it and show how it looks now so you see it's in line here and it's line here with the placket as you can see, what is sticking out is my seam allowance. So now I can just attach it one centimeter. there. And now you see it is attached and my pleats are folded properly so I can take away my pins. Now it's easy to put the seam into my calf All we need to do now is top stitching 
because then we got our cuff made. So I'll just top stitch and as all top stitches, two millimeter from the edge. It is important that to put interlining into your cuff because otherwise it will be some odd foldings when you sew it. This makes sure that it's placed properly. Now of course it's possible to say it's finished but I could as well make a top stitching all the way around and now it's just time for the bottoms like that. Sometimes you'll see that the bottom part of this because the uh, bottom holes are on the top and the bottoms are on the, on the lower part you could as well make an extension to make sure you've got more space for your buttons. But again, it has to do with the, the size of the buttons you choose. But um, more or less the same system, just with an extension. The extension for this could be done exactly the way that you see in waistband, straight waistband because it's very much the same system as a straight waistband. Did you like what you just seen and do you want to learn more? Then subscribe. I'll constantly develop and upload new things all based upon the professional way of sewing. All the best for me and good luck with your work.